Uh, it's vlogging eight five hundred and two. <laughs> I am running late. I wasn't running late. I woke up on time. I set my alarm for like 8.30, 8.37, something. I always set it for a random time because, I don't know, it's a weird thing. We talk about that some of the time. But, you know, when you hit snooze, because you're just like, just give me a second. You're not going to sleep any. You're just like, just give me a second. And you're making sure that you don't oversleep. And then, you turn off your alarm, because you're like, oh, I'm getting up now. And then you don't get up. And then, uh, you wake up. You know, 20 minutes later, and you're like, oh, I was going to get up and go. And I didn't. That's basically a summation of what happened this morning. And I'm uh, now late. Gonna go meet my, my buddy Oliver. He runs a podcast called The Earful Tower, which, with his accent, makes a lot more sense. Mosquito. Oh, 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 dang it. I don't know why the mosquitoes are still a thing. Anyways, we'll go meet him. And uh, while well, I have to say it, it'll make more sense. Flowers, that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. These guys aren't putting in flowers though. Yeah, It'd be nice if they were though. That's also just in case you ever wondered how the French actually use the word oh la la. That, that was a really good example. <laughs> Here's hoping our train's not that packed. Such luck. The joys of the morning commute. Uh, I think your accent is what pulls it together, doesn't it? What do you mean the name of the podcast? You have your podcast. What is your Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower. You know the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel. Yeah. Perfect. That was it. It sounds better when you say it. That, that was the whole point. Was that? Yeah. When I say it, it's not as good. It was good. No. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Where's your accent from? The uh, states, the west coast, the west coast of Australia. Yeah. See? But it sounds, it just sounds better when he says it. Anyways, I'll link to, I'll link to Oliver's so, podcast below. If you're interested in podcasts yeah, about Paris, which well, this guy is right here, we just sold him on it. Then you've got a podcast. These dudes have been on the podcast. They've been on the podcast. Do I get to be on the podcast someday? Why not? I would love to be. So I'm gonna link to him, and then uh, yeah, for those of you who are podcast files and love Paris. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Gustav's meeting his fans. Gustav. Gustav. You need to be better about meeting your fans, buddy. You gotta, yes. you gotta treat them better than this. Yeah. So go say hi. Hi. There you go. Hi. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Gustav's got a long ways to go when it comes to interacting with his fan base. It's like almost snowing outside. Oh, oh my gosh. It's cold out here. It was snowing just a second ago. Like snow raining. Is that sleet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's unpleasant. It's definitely not snow, but it's unpleasant. Now it's going. Let's try this again. I need more clo- Oh, and then it stops? What the heck? Yeah, come on, see. It just comes up. Going on so, il arrête. Well, you just have to believe me, I guess. Oh, there you go. You can see a little bit. Okay, that's enough of that. Wafting the smell my way. It's good to meet you too. I'm gonna take these guys to Clark Dog, make an introduction, and then, wow, it's cold out here actually. My feet just got cold. Like, you can feel it happen. Ugh. Anyways, Clark Dog, and then I think script translation for the afternoon. Really fun. Waiting for go back, go back to don't be. I just go back to being subtle. <laughs> Look at 
Desiree and Sebastian, it was really nice to meet you guys. Those two were our patrons of mine. We're looking to move to France and just wanted to come hang out. And we'll see them in San Diego or LA as well because they are from San Diego. So that's really exciting. I'm freezing. Um, okay, so anyways, that was good. I think I'm gonna try and translate another script today. The irony or the difficulty is that they gave me a reordered list of the priorities that they have for which scripts I'm translating. And the one that they want, the number one one they want is one of the ones I don't have yet. So I'm just trying to get ahead of it in other ways. We'll do that. I also have the green light for a couple of things. I was a little bit worried about this. Had a phone call last night, but it looks like we're good to go. So in order to help fund the West Coast road trip, which I will, we will hashtag, I'll put the hashtag on the screen right now just to get you guys used to it. For the West Coast road trip, in order to pay for gas and the rental car, I'm thinking of two things. One, I do have some art sitting around from Into the Nanton that I'll show you and that I would love to sell uh, if you wanna buy it. I don't know how we're gonna do that, but we'll hawk it as we go. And the other thing is I really want, I'm wearing my world tour shirt right now. It is not for any real band or anything. I just think it's really fun. I've always loved it. And so I thought it'd be really fun since we're actually doing a world tour from Paris to the West Coast to make a world tour t-shirt. And if you guys wanted to buy a t-shirt, whether or not you're gonna be able to make it to the road trip meetups, the way it sounds, I forget who it was. Somebody was, please forgive me. I'm forgetting who it was. I'm gonna have to look it up. Somebody, a patron or a subscriber, somebody suggested going to a particular website. We're gonna get figured it out. But basically you buy a t-shirt and I'll get four bucks and we'll put that towards gas. And then we all have world tour t-shirts, which is I think really, really fun. So anyways, those are some thoughts. I have to work on this. I have more thoughts too, but I'm, I'm literally not eating anything today except for a banana. I've had coffee and a hot chocolate. So, and it's like 1.30 in the afternoon and I'm like shutting down. So I'll eat and then everything will start to make sense. But meeting those guys has me really excited for the West Coast road trip because I always love meeting like patrons especially and in meeting them, I just feel really encouraged and really excited. And I just can only imagine what a week of meeting people on the road trip is gonna be like. So if you're thinking about coming out, please come out. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Chile. I got a scattered number of things done, which is good, including finding my bus to the airport. Getting to Orly Airport in the south is a little bit more complicated. It's not bad, you just have to get a bus. You can't take a train straight there, so. At least as far as I can tell. I've never been to this airport before, so I'm gonna be learning. We can learn together. Maybe we'll make a very brief how to get to Orly video when we take take it there but anyways that's only two days away so I've got to teach English tomorrow and then Saturday morning I leave so I should probably actually like look at packing a little bit just to make sure that I have everything that I need to go back and my computer is stressing me out a little bit just chunking but I think ugh. anyways I'm looking forward to having a new camera soon where I think there's so many random there's just so much random stuff going on it's really hard to keep it all straight so anyways we'll, we'll get caught up here Ooh, this is pretty let's go look at Notre Dame <laughs> So let's go for a run before I before I completely lose all motivation to do it. I made the mistake of checking the leaderboard. My dad is crushing me. Ugh. Not done very well on the running side of things. Also, for those of you who are still wondering, the hallway does still smell a little funky, but it's getting better. So whatever was going on in there for a couple of days, hopefully it's over. At first I thought it smelled like, you know, rotting food. And then it started to smell like cleaning supplies a little bit. So somebody tried to clean it up, whatever it was. And now it's kind of just a subtle hint of both. So anyways, just under four miles. I just went for a run through the neighborhood. My neighborhood is really uh, pretty boring. Unless you're into super upscale shopping, in which case, Boy, do I live in the neighborhood for you. Ugh. Food, dinner, 
I'm about to start shutting down, so I need to get back. Ravioli one more time before I go. Yeah. Well, you guys, it's snowing. Hold on, turn this off. get to my edit, but I think, or you probably can't see me. Uh, I was gonna get to my edit, but uh, I think I probably need to go outside and get a couple of shots of this. I really wish I didn't have to walk in this because I'm cold, but that's the price we pay for footage. The snowflake size is already significantly reduced. Although, actually, that might not be true. Oh gosh. Oh. For the flowers, the brand new flowers. Get out of here on time on Saturday. Unfortunately, I think the big flakes are done, which means that this shot I'm hoping of getting at the Eiffel Tower, probably not gonna happen. Also, I try to refrain from filming the Eiffel Tower at night because technically it's illegal. It doesn't mean that I don't want to. It just means it might not be the best idea. it's bright enough for that to come through but it rushed one of those things where you know if you don't get outside as quickly as possible you're gonna completely miss so back to slushy rainy land <laughs> It worked out because I needed to get more snacks anyways, so, you know, go through the Christmas tree, grab some snacks, we're all good. Well, at least I got a little bit of snow in Paris, right? And now some tortilla chips to finish off that awful guac and salsa, because it's not gonna last. So it's either throw it out or finish it, and well, might as well finish it because then I'll appreciate the good stuff that much more in T minus two days.